Hey guys, welcome back to this tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to model this butter knife, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, so first things first, what we need to do is import the image plane, and now I just go to view, image plane, import image, and then just click on the utensils. All right, here's your polygon plane. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer. I will right mouse click and hold, go to edge, scale it up a little bit wide, and zoom out a little bit. Um, extrude it all the way down, drag it over a little bit, kind of align that edge. Let's move it over, no big deal. Um, let's go to object mode, and we're going to insert some edge loops. So let's go to mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, click on the multiple edge loops, and uh, six looks about right. Just click on that edge. Just close it out. Now we'll right mouse click and hold. Go to edge. I'm sorry, vertex, and slide those puppies over. It's one at a time. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nice and easy. All right. So we got one more. Or you can just press the down arrow key. See, I'm not really selecting it manually. We just drag it all the way over there. Okay, now let's select um, object mode and let's zoom in a little bit closer and let's actually take that edge and move it up. We've got that nice little kind of corner and we'll extrude it down one more time. All right, mouse click and hold, go to vertex. It's like both of them, drag it over and align it with the image plane and shazam, we're good. All right. Right mouse click and hold, go to object mode. You could see when I pressed three and we rounded it off. It doesn't look um, just like the image. So let's take these vertices, make them a little bit wider. Drag those two, move it down. It's an easy. Let's go to the top of the screen to mesh tools, insert edge loop, and we'll add about three edge loops. And there we go. So we'll go to vertex mode, select these three vertices and take that top vertex, move it up. And then we'll press three, go to object mode and it kind of gives you like this weird funky vertex. Uh, so we're just going to delete it. All right, press A to zoom out. Now let's kind of work ourselves towards the bottom of this. Uh, let's see here. We can. It's always good to look at your geometry from different angles when you're assessing things. But now we're going to give it a little bit of uh, thickness. So we press Control E and extrude it out. Um, look underneath those faces, and then let's jump into our front view. And what we're going to do next is we're simply just going to extrude it down, and we want to create this round shape that that image you see that kind of half circular shape so we are going to drop it right about there right mouse click and hold go to vertex select those vertices press four so we can see it in wireframe and here we go pretty straightforward right all right select the faces and then we're going to extrude and scale it a little bit wider. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and extrude again. And this time we're gonna move it all the way down. So let's hop over to our front view. I'm hold shift, select the um, Y axis, drag it all the way down, press R, scale it a little bit wider. Right mouse click and hold, go to vertex. It's like those two vertices, move them up in the Y axis. Um, and then it's like those two guys, scale them a little bit wider so we get a nice round edge. And then drag all of them down, very easy. And yeah, just try to get it to match the outer edges. Instead of, so let's go to mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, option block. Instead of like adding a bunch at a time, we're just gonna do one at a time. So um, let's start off with one 
and click there. And then we're going to press W, which is a move tool. Double click on that edge. And then we'll press R, which is a scale tool, and make it flat. All right. Scale it down to match the image. And then object mode. And then um, if we press Y, it's repeat previous command, which is enter edge loop tool. Press R, scale it flat. Scale a little bit wider. Repeat previous um, command, which is enter edge loop. Press Y. Click on the edge. Scale it down flatter. And yeah, it's not, not bad at all. Um, let's add one more there. Press R. The same exact process as we did before. Okay. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. We're going to go back into the um, uh, insert edge loop tool and change it to uh, the equal distance from edge and click it right there. We're actually going to select all the edges on the outside like we did in the previous tutorial with the fork. All right, so we press three. That looks nice. But I think we should undo that. And we're just going to double click and select all of the outside edges. So hold shift, double click, select all the edges on the outside. Now we'll select uh, this edge right here. Hold shift, select that one. And nah. I don't want it to be too sharp, so let's press Z to undo, undo. Now we're going to bevel it. So hold shift, right mouse click and hold, bevel. And we're going to change our fractions. Now let's kind of look at the edge, see what's going on. If we change our fractions to greater than a number like one, then the edges will overlap and then we'll have bad geometry. So uh, 0.5 seems to work pretty good for me. And we, let's see, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. That looks great. Um, now we press 3, and there we go. Look at that. And then this is the anti-aliasing, so it actually gives you really nice edges. So that's with it off, and this is with it on. I don't know. It's too flat. So let's go to vertex mode and let's select those vertices, hold shift and select these guys. All right, keep selecting. And then once we get down there, let's go ahead and press R, okay? R is a shortcut for the scale tool. And let's kind of get these vertices into perspective so you can see exactly how far I'm going to scale them together. And then press R, scale together. And right about there looks, I think it looks good. Press three and voila, sharper edge. Oh, nice. I feel like cutting up some butter right now and making me a good old French toast. All right, so I hope you guys like this. Um, check out the other tutorials. On the next one, we're going to add a shader, light render, click the like, subscribe button, and yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. All right, everyone. Peace.